Okay, now we're back to the main story and close to where Billy is, so let's get to it. Billy, there you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are afraid he has gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. Well, if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well, I think. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrift and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, Narstek. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Avo the pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Stonebur, was Trigve not sent there by father to help? We must go. Then our mom just appeared from a horse into a fox and dropped in front behind us. That was so weird. <laughs> but, oh well. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Let's go with it. <laughs> I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They mean to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Oh, hey. What the hell are you to do? <laughs> there are more people to save. We are running out of time. Okay, let's get to it. Help! Someone, please! Go quickly, please! <laughs> Leave your things. Get to Trukvi. You'll be safe with him. Oh, there's an important loot here. There's one. Okay. Collect that at the same time. Quickly, everyone! Get the wounded to trick me! He's by the gates! Come quick! Help anyone you can! My parents are trapped! Help me! And help them! Inside? My wife, please leave me be. I'm sure we can do the trick full time, so don't be too drunk. I think just draw your last breath. I guess I was wrong. I feel so bad now. <laughs> I should have saved him instead. Yeah, think about it. Not a child of a parent. Oh, that's bad. Is anyone anyone out there? 
Oh, there's a lid. Oh, that's great. No! 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 Ah! Thank you, stranger. I thought this was my last day on Midgar. Whatever. Whatever. You all walk towards the flame, that's your problem already. <laughs> Get the man, Eivor. You carry the woman. Niflheim will have to wait. You are staying here. <coughs> oh, Sancti, all father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. Talk to him first before we take her there. I will tend to the injured, but there are many more in danger. Bring them here if you can. I will tend to the injured, but there are many more in danger. Bring them here if you can. Oh, thank you, Vili. Thank you. I draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Billy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. It's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same ass stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinderdunfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Billy myself. <coughs> Alright. 
Let's see if we got that. That's a distance. Alright, why is I'm closer there and I'll continue? I just see what's there. Alright. Okay, now we're back to the main story and close to where this sick really is at. Of course, when I use Sunan. What do you see, Sunan? Disappear. I'm guessing it's inside there and that's a cave. There's a path. Okay. Billy was right. The Kenta downfall is beautiful. Now where is he? We'll be walking from the path. I'm not climbing up this. She have a nice singing voice. Anyway, let's get to it. Eivor, you found my secret haunt. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better to boast. But look at my father, a battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. You need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? I don't think I'm going up tree, cause if I try to tell him, but he's not wanting to listen to it, so it's like no point. Continue to say it's like you're trying to jab him. What's the point? <laughs> he's not gonna react to it. So number two, it's similar to number three. I feel so. I guess I'll go with number one. Although I don't think number one is the right option, but to me, it should feels like the best option. Number one. You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us, but that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order.
It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the Longhouse! Lena Yarl is at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Do I need to follow Billy? Where is it though? Oh, that's right. Oh, I thought I'd go down. It's still a distance. So... I'll run towards there. Unless Evo said anything in between our show. I was not sure what was close there. So, let me get going. This must be Loki's doing. No, no. This is life, my friend. I guess we're starting from here. Okay, let's get to it. Will Hemingar Jarl go to heaven, mother? I... I hope he will. If he has accepted Christ into his heart, the Lord will most certainly receive him. Okay. That's over here. Oh dear Hemingger, our Jarl. He'll soon join our forefathers. <laughs> Eivor, Hemminger Jarl still clings to life. Long past makes me feel young again. Hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Eivor. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingway, y'all. You chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh. From your mother's womb, I watched you grow. A dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I, uh, I, uh, 
must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trickery needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. I can't leave this last screen. Let's read this note instead. This is written by Trickby, I guess, because they serve your father. Hmm. Okay, where is it? Quite a distance, alright. Let's see, where is it? Is it? It's over there, that's not really helpful. <laughs> alright, let's find this. Alright, once I'm close there, I'll continue. I just see you over there. Bye. Okay, now we're back to the main story, and we're close to the location because the locate area occurred. Yeah, and the location is right in front. Go, Sudan. Yeah, here. And I'll be running there. Cause I don't think my mouth can go past without knocking onto anyone around here. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> This journey to the halls will be heralded by roaring flames. Let's get to it. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, oh, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemingur Jarl. The celebration will last many days. How soon till we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trickley. I pledged my life's oath to Hemingur Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthoth's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? 
It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the Watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a yarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with his sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Audible quest? Okay, I just uncalled. <laughs> I thought there'd be more. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Um, I'll be stopping here for now, cause as you can see from last uh, last few video, last few parts, it's quite a while already. To get at this is too long. <laughs> so once I see which one I go for, then I'll start from there again. I shall see you wasn't there. Bye.